Well, hi, I'm at the Blacksmiths Festival and behind me in the marquee is a very good exhibition and it's been put on by the British Artists Blacksmiths Association, BABA. So I'll take you for a tour around, but it's well worth seeing. Just outside the exhibition marquee there was this rather fun watering can, <laughs> watering a little lot of plants there. I must say the organisers have put a lot of work into this exhibition and the thing I like about the artist blacksmith is they actually it's very creative it's very artistic and I like it also because it sort of accepts that blacksmithing can cover a whole range of people's abilities and different strengths of people because you know not everyone wants to be sort of making heavy axe heads or really hard hammer heads which take a huge physical effort and some of these pieces of work they're still beautifully done made out of metal but they're actually more accessible because women can do them uh, people like myself who I don't consider myself to be hugely strong can have a go at a lot of this sort of work whereas I would balk a bit more at some of the really heavy axe work and there's general really more sort of scope I suppose for artistry which I personally quite like and I suppose in a way it is the shape of blacksmithing nowadays with a lot of people they want bespoke commissions for their houses I rather like things like these flowers the staircases that were on show there's some great railings I mean there were some fun knives you name it really there were amongst the work there there was some really quite impressive stuff some of it was by students some of it was by seasoned professionals but it was all in its own way pretty impressive the whole blacksmithing festival it was actually held in Devon um, near Exeter so it was a long way for me to go but it was worth seeing it and it was a an event that actually ran over several days and there were quite a few competitions being run there so I had great fun seeing the competition entries and seeing what sorts of things people got up to. It was also great to have the chance to talk to different people behind the stalls, a lot of trade stalls there, exhibitors generally. So it was certainly a good place to learn a bit and I, I learned quite a lot just looking around it really. In fact, I spent a whole day there going around. It wasn't a huge event, but there were so many things to actually learn about, find out from people and people were very good with their knowledge. The quite nice thing about this artist blacksmithing as well is of course that people don't just use um, iron they use steel the, the bronze copper all sorts of metals to get nice effects and there's some very good photographs in the marquee here that you'll see some of them of the actual items in their location and others of the work in progress I mean, things like this bench is fairly simple but it's very nice and there were some sort of slightly arty things there which perhaps I wasn't quite so keen on. I mean this this was clever um, but it's more like a work of art in terms of being a bit like a bit of piece of modern art painting. Probably not so much my cup of tea. I do enjoy seeing the sort of technical expertise and seeing nice things like really nice railings. I think that's the sort of thing, I mean I'm lucky because I've actually got old cast iron railings outside my house. But if I didn't have nice cast iron railings, I'd certainly want to be fabricating some nice blacksmith railings. Because so I think that sort of thing looks really good. The furniture was clever because you have here a nice table. And, I mean, my instant approach might be to make a table out of wood. But you see that sort of thing and you think, oh, yes, actually, perhaps if I need another table sometime or a lamp, why not blacksmith something up? It calls for a slightly different set of skills. It's rather good fun. I like the far set here, the way they were being held upright it was quite sort of arty but good fun and it's I think it's using traditional methods a lot of this but it's breaking away from tradition in the actual execution of some of these projects I mean a gate fair it's got the elements of traditional gate manufacture the joining of metal the thinning the collaring etc but it works because they've taken a new approach a new artistic approach which is you know jolly good well, a bit of Damascus forging there, and why not have a clock with Damascus steel? <laughs> Light pendants. I mean, when you actually think about it, the scope, the imagination is amazing. And I think that's the thing, really. You look around an exhibition like this, and you think of all the things that you could make, and the different ways breaking with convention. Why have a wooden chair? Why not have you know, a metal chair? And it does inspire you. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing that one. Thanks for watching.